In this video we will look at the string data type and look at a few system Verilog uh, string methods which lets us work with strings. In general a string can be thought of as a dynamically allocated uh, array of bytes. So in this program I have uh, two input strings and I'm I also have two output strings which are uh, going to save the outputs from the different method calls uh, and I have a 32-bit unsigned integer which is called bit string for reasons you will see shortly. So the first st uh, step in this program is to use the assignment operator to initialize our output string x with the value in our unsigned 32-bit integer which is the bit string and notice here that the value of bit string corresponds to the ASCII code for uh, uh, letters uppercase A, C, E and D so at the completion of this assignment we would expect the value in string X to be equal to AST also I am using an explicit cast here some compilers require this explicit cast while others don't to find the length of the string that's pretty straightforward you would use the len function to convert a string to uppercase you would use the to upper function to convert the string to lowercase you use the to lower function the uh, substring function extracts from the main string a set of characters which are uh, uh, between the indices specified as parameters to the substring function. So in this case the substring function is going to extract uh, characters from indices 0, 1 and 2 from the string second and we wind up with the result W O R. The comparison uh, operation can be performed in two different ways. The first is to use the compare function which is uh, very similar to the string compare function. It will return a zero if the strings are equal else um, it returns a non-zero value. So in this case uh, the we want to compare the string first with the string dummy string so we call the compare function on the first string and pass to it as uh, as a parameter the second string that needs to be compared with the first string the other way to do the compare is to use the equality operator and uh, the uh, where, and the only difference here is if the two strings are uh, equal then the uh, equality operator will return a 1 uh, it, otherwise it will return 0 to concatenate two strings we will use the uh, curly braces operator so here we have um, the string first and the string second which are specified uh, between the uh, curly braces so we want the string first to be concatenated with the string second and the result will wind up in the string dummy string. To replicate the string you need the string that you want to replicate and um, a multiplier and this multiplier will dictate how many times the string is uh, replicated. So in this case uh, we are uh, attempting to replicate the dummy string three times. So we wind up with uh, hello world repeated three times in the string x. The next function we are going to look at is the put c function. So the put c function has two different forms. In the first form the put c function has as its parameters an index location and a string. So in this form the way the putc function works 
is it will modify the specified index which is in the first parameter specified index of the string first with the first value the first uh, character of the string x so essentially what we are looking at is this operation here where the uh, index first of 0 is um, as, uh, or x of 0 is assigned to first of 0 and if we if we used a different index here for example if I used index 2 then the uh, operation that we are looking at would be equivalent to this first of 2 is um, replaced by x of 0 so that's the first form of the put c function in the second form of the put C function the first parameter uh, is the same thing which dictates the uh, index that needs to be modified the second parameter is a byte with which we want to replace the uh, index with so in this example here we say that we want to modify the very first um, character of the string first which is the zeroth index and we want to replace that with the empty string and so if the uh, s string had a word uh, hello we would replace the first byte which is the H with a empty string and the rest of the string remains unchanged the last function we we will look at is the uh, get C function the get C function is uh, just the uh, opposite of the put C function in with get C function we just read um, the uh, specified index from the string so in this example here I use the f the string first and I want to get a certain index and that index happens to be the last index of the string first so uh, uh, the result of the get C is sent to the string X so at the completion of this call I expect the string X to have a value of O so let's quickly run this uh, program and quickly eyeball the results just to see if the results uh, match our uh, expectations and uh, here we see the results being displayed and when we quickly eyeball the results where test 0 um, where we assigned the 32 bit uh, unsigned integer to the string x we got a value of aced and uh, the rest of the output is uh, uh, fairly straightforward and uh, um, as I eyeball the results here they seem to um, make uh, sense to me so I think that these function calls are uh, doing what they are uh, supposed to be doing uh, the only um, uh, caveat here is uh, with the uh, put C function I noticed uh, some uh, behavioral differences which I have uh, documented uh, um, uh, in the comments here uh, and most of this uh, behavioral difference is uh, with respect to the first form of put C that we discussed so please do take a look at those uh, comments and uh, uh, and if uh, uh, like I say here if uh, some of the uh, simulators here throw a compilation error I would uh, start off by where when, you, when you copy this project and you get a compilation error please uh, uh, start off by just uh, commenting this version of putsi which is test 9 and uh, hopefully that should uh, make this uh, uh, project work across all simulators so that's it guys thank you for uh, your attention and uh, I will see you in the next video